in their ARGs or uh, view, view such ventures as financially worthwhile. So what, in your opinion, made Lost the perfect show for an ARG and would either of you can do, consider doing something similar for the on a future project? Uh, that's an excellent question. Do, um, do you mind if I, I'm just going to stand up because I can't see so many people. Um, uh, I, I think the, the Lost ARG is a, is, a, is a sort of fascinating exercise. Carlton and I learned a lot from it, and, and Javi was a huge part of it. Um, uh, obviously, one of the things that we talked about on the show, and I think this goes back to what Mark was saying, is kind of this, the story uh, drives the content, and everything else, you know, the ancillary sort of you know financial value of it comes later. But one of the things that we were doing on Lost, and I'm sure this happens on Lost Whispers and Heroes and, um, and, and even Soaps, is that you start to construct what we call the iceberg, which is there's this idea that you have to talk about all these things in, in your world, but the only thing that the audience ever sees is above the waterline. But the iceberg itself, the massive part of your story, is sort of below the waterline, and you're not going to show the audience probably 80% of that stuff because it, it, it's, it, it's highly geeky, it caters to a very specific fandom. In the case of Lost, the characters don't care. You know, Jack and Kate don't give a shit about the Hansel Foundation. <laughs> so, you know, so, but, but large members of the audience did. So we said, we, we all sat down in a room and said, is, is there a way to start to tell this story? So it started with this guy, Mike Benson, and his uh, partner, uh, uh, Marla. We, we were um, having lunch with them and we're telling them this entire story about how uh, about the numbers were, were attached to this thing called the Valenzetti Equation and what the Hansel Foundation really was. And, how we, we, and he said, why don't you guys do that on the show? And we explained it, and he said, maybe there's another way to do it. And that was the birth of the Lost ARG, which, you know, I think we all went into thinking, oh, this will be fun for like a week or so. And it became, you know, Javi's life, and this other guy, Jordan Rosenberg, for probably the next four or five months. And they would, you know, Carlton and I were show running that too, and we ended up producing all this content. Obviously, from the, um, from the studio side, they look at it as, how is this going to generate dollars for us? If it's, uh, does it promote the show itself? We kept thinking like, this is just a cool way to tell stories, but for them, it costs money to produce. So they started seeking out creative uh, financial partners. Um, in the case of the Lost ARG, Sprite and Jeep were amongst a couple of them. And, th and then you start to find the storytellers that that might get in the way of your storytelling. If the people who are, who are looking for a nugget of the story that you're telling about the Hansel Foundation have to sit through three Jeep commercials and two Sprite commercials just for, you know, a girl looking into a camera saying, thank you for coming this far, the, the chances of them proceeding, um, you know, it, it, it's like any game. You have to give the, the, the gamer an adequate reward in order for them to stay engaged. We learned a lot from the Lost ARG and, you know, subsequently I think the, the short answer to your question is, you know, you have to, you have to um, figure out how to make it um, financially successful for the person who's funding it without making the, the uh, person who's watching it feel like they're being marketed to. And I think that that's something that we're all continuing to work on. So I'd love to hear from the others who work 